Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on my experience with the Osmo Pocket. So for those of you that caught my video about this portable charger that DJI makes, incredibly overpriced, but if you get it at the right price, I think a great accessory to have for this. Hopefully, well, not hopefully, but I will be sad if a new Osmo Pocket comes out in the next few months. But in the same vein, maybe I won't be, because if they can improve this product, which I think they can, it's only going to get better. So. What is today's video about? Well, I already said it's about the Osmo Pocket. It's about the extension rod. Now, this is something never in my life did I think I would buy something like this, okay? I hate selfie sticks. When I see them in public, I feel badly for people using them. You might be one of those people. What can I tell you? It's not that they don't serve a purpose. It's just I think that, myself included, everyone who uses one looks like an idiot. But all of that aside, we know what they accomplish, right? They pull off shots that otherwise you wouldn't be able. Now, this is not just a selfie stick. They call it an extension rod for a reason. After all, they charge a pretty penny for this thing and it has functionality. And that's something that selfie sticks simply do not have. The only thing a selfie stick does is, well, give you the ability to take a selfie while holding a metal pole somewhere. So this extension rod, it's all plastic construction, by the way. It extends fairly far. I know you're not even gonna see this, but I forget the actual extension, but it looks like it's, if I had to guess, like 30 inches, I'm guessing. Fairly large, big enough that you're not picking it all up. Uh, and so basically how this works, I haven't used it yet, just received it today, very tight there, putting it back, is that you go ahead and you insert the Osmo Pocket here. I'm gonna see if I can do this. You can see the contact points right there. And basically it just allows you to use your smartphone here and wirelessly transmit the signal you're getting from the Osmo Pocket onto whatever Android or iOS iPhone device you're using here so that you have a screen where you can visualize. You then have control of the gimbal using the joystick right here. You have a C1 programmable button, still capture, video record function button, then the ability to also control I believe this is for uh, differentiating the gimbal control and a C2 programmable button right there on the left-hand side. So you get a lot of functionality out of this. Uh, it is powered by the charge of the Osmo Pocket to my knowledge, which is probably a shortcoming. But if you can you know, pull together this entire outfit that I have here, let's see, I'm going the wrong way with that. You start to really have a nice little ensemble of accessories for this product. Now, as I mentioned, this is how you're going to actually um, power the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend the rod. And it's pretty tight, as I mentioned, and you can see the contact points right there. So I believe we're gonna to have to, it goes on like that. I mean, that's the only logical way, right? So let's pop it on. And I probably should be looking at instructions, but this seems like it's self-explanatory enough for me, generally speaking. Uh, so now it's attached, okay? And I should be able to power it on. Let's see, I'm assuming record will actually power it on, but I might be completely wrong. I'm not getting anything out of the LED light here. Uh, what else could it be? <laughs> this is where instructions probably are the best thing. There we go, so it was the function button, whoop de doo it just powered on the Osmo Pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and retract that a bit. And by the way, we have a quarter 20 mount here. So if you wanna put it on um, any kind of tripod, uh, you can do that. I, you know, If you wanna stand it up on a monopod, you can do that. And again, the only reason I'm willing to accept something like this is because I know that it has the added functionality of, well, giving you control of this device now, I already have accessories, as many of you know, those of you that follow the channel, I already have the wireless module, I bought that a while back, and the control for the actual gimbal, pan, tilt, uh, as well as the ability to switch between them using that switch, and then uh, traditional buttons are overlaid. So, you don't need this anymore because this is controlling it, but if you want to wirelessly stream to your phone, as I mentioned before, which is a selling point, you do need the wireless module. So now I've got the wireless module on 
it's recognizing uh, that it's actually saying 4K 60P uh, uh, SYN-like is unavailable with the wireless mode. That's fine. Um, and now, if I were to pair up my phone, which I'm not going to do right now in this video, I'll test it eventually, probably shoot something outdoors, then you have the ability to extend this as far as you like, still have control of the gimbal, and now you're getting shots that you never would and all you know, able to control right here. So I said it's not a selfie stick. It kind of is a selfie stick, but it's a selfie stick that has a gimbal sitting on the end of it. And if that's not unique, I don't know what the hell is. So I was not interested in this product at launch because it was simply too expensive. But now, again, if you can find it on sale and you already own the Osmo Pocket, I think it's a very smart accessory to be interested in for a wide variety of reasons that I've already mentioned. I mean, it does give you flexibility that you simply aren't going to get with this product out of the box. And in fact, it may be a better purchase than buying this, uh, even though it defeats the pocketability, no question. There are instances where if I can get an overhead shot in a crowd, if I can get angles that otherwise are not achievable and still retain all of the control that you have here, I think that's a big deal. Anyway, I like the ecosystem they put together. I wish it were more affordable. And that's what it's now becoming in its slightly older age. So there you have it the Osmo Pocket Extension Rod. I'm gonna go ahead and eventually test this thing out, give you feedback. I know it's an old product, but I still think it's an interesting one. And hopefully we do see a revision of the Osmo Pocket soon, even though that would make me regret these accessories a little bit. I still think they're great to have because the Osmo Pocket, unmatched, nothing else like it, except for going to a legit gimbal. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.